What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Community Voices. Very special episode this week for Black History Month as we interview some of our internal talent. And today we have Jahad with us today. And yeah, Jahad, tell us about yourself. What's going on? How y'all doing? My name is Jahad. That's name Meds. I go by No Face Juice on social media. I am an artist. Now I'm a supervisor for Finish Line. So nice, nice. So I heard. I was reading your background and talk to, uh, talk to me on, on like how you started to, you know, go to different schools and perform your songs to help, you know, uplift the community. Like, how did that start? Okay. How that started out is like, well, when I was in college, I went to Cincinnati State and like what I kept pressing for is like telling people I'm an artist. And like what I did with that, like I found like different people in my class that were actually engineers and they pushed me out to like Madeira to where I was able to like go out there and then like go around my own community, College Hill, and go to like the recreational center and like do little songs. Like I wouldn't do like personally all my songs because all my songs is not personally for kids, I, I would say all the time, but like make up cool little routes to empower kids. And I say like, and it's just, I feel the fact of making music or like getting your voice out there as a young black person is like really good for this generation. Cause we love to try, try, but I believe trying right now ain't enough no more, you know what I mean? So, and I feel like using music is a good way, like to get, it's a, it's a better outlet than violence right now. Mm -hmm. and, and it seems like with all the rioting and all the stuff, the protesting going on, like it, it's like stuff you can do a better way to get your point across than like just going out there and being people face. Cause everybody love music, you know what I mean? So. Yeah, music is definitely, you know, a universal language where I might not understand it, whether it's like in a different language, but you just feel it, you know? Yep, them. and through it straight through the body, man. Exactly, exactly. So how have the kids been like receiving it? Have they been enjoying it? Been able to like talk to you and kind of like, you know, tell you that the music has really been changing their outlook on life and how they approach things? Well, the way the way I try to do it is more like it ain't for the sense of like to make another kid like like to do music for themselves, because I feel like whatever you feel like your talent is or what you should know your core better than any other person. Right. Like I just I just use it as a sense of like to give a kid like encouragement to push them to do something it's like it's a quote that i had that i wrote down that's by bruce lee and it's like and he, what he said he says knowing is not enough we must apply and when it, when he said that it's more like you know what to do you get that you're trying it but you got to apply it to make it happen and that's coming from somebody great and then he said willing is not enough we must do so and i feel and that and what i get out of that is like wanting the will to do something but not doing it is not enough simple as that it's not enough you sure. gotta apply it so say like what i what i use as another example is like i don't wake up every day and beat a lion someday i might beat a gazelle because like some days i might feel depressed or something because i'm human man so it's like or like these different emotions that we have but that next day i'm the lion and i'm and i'm chasing like you got to go get what you want to get you can't let little things in life break you down like i was told that going to school and everything was the best route for me or yeah. like letting somebody choose that. But I say like going with your passion and doing with something where money is not involved is where your heart going to be best at and where you can, you can feel happy in life. And I feel like a lot of young black people feel very like downbeat because they have pain of where you live in this environment. You don't have these opportunities that the next person has, or yeah. you ain't got your family or you don't have this support. But I tell people, is like all that use that pain to push you to what you want to do right. like don't let that pain simmer you down that's pain to bring you back up mm -hmm. like you think batman get down every time he fighting somebody with superpowers no he's not he can't go <laughs> back <job>. up <laughs> batman come with an ideal or a plan he beat superman for a reason people mm -hmm. so you just you just gotta you just gotta know what you're doing so and, and i feel like that's a great way to push push younger people like myself because i didn't have it in school Mm -hmm. to where like they had people come out. I went to Aiken, but like I went there my senior year. So I went, I'm not using that as like all years they probably did have somebody come out, but like having that voice or like having somebody young, like myself, I'm only 21, believing in myself, not saying I'm where I want to be yet, but knowing I'm working to get it every day and that I am working towards it, knowing that I'm doing something today is knowing that my future is guaranteed. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, and even like, you know, you could apply that to a lot of things in life where, you know, you may feel like a setback and you got to use that as motivation to keep pushing yourself, you know? Right. 
Yeah, even slow progress is still progress. You just gotta take things, you know, one day at a time and just, as long as you get them better each day, that's still something that you should be proud of, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Cincinnati's finest, man. Um, that's all I got for you. I'll let you have the floor. You know, you got any music coming out? You want to shout out your floor, um, your Instagram, whatever the floor is yours, my brother. Okay. My name is No Face Juice. And yes, I do have an, another little something coming up. I'm not about to say when. I don't like to reveal too much. I say catch me. On, you can catch me on YouTube, Apple Music, everywhere out. Shout out to my brother. My brother is a track runner for Ohio State. Nice. I love him, and I and he does the best. I say, if anything, for any younger black person to get your mind out of the gutter, listen to a man called Eric Thomas. He's a hip hop. Very, very, he's very up, very in the tune with black people, and to get people in the right mindset to do what you got to do. And I got like one last quote for people: It's every single day, if you do what you said you're gonna do, you're gonna get what you dream to get. Simple as that. So stop making empty goals every day if you ain't gonna achieve them, man. Sure. Like, lo like losers are losers for a reason. They don't they don't do what they say they do. And winners are winners for a reason. Simple mm -hmm. as that. Hunters are hunters. Simple as that, man. Okay. So that's all from here. No face juice out. <laughs> that, that easy. Appreciate yes, sir. your time and spreading your message and your word. And you know, thank everybody else for tuning in for community voices as well, especially during this week as we highlight different voices from the company for the month. So yeah, that's all I got. Again, thank you so much for taking the time out. I know you're in the store right now. I know you got to yes, <laughs> uh, let you go. And Jahad, thank you. Yes, sir. <laughs> no, thank you. Cool. Take care. Yes, sir.